So you're not wetting anything, you want to remain white. Exactly. So we're, we're, it comes, kind of comes up here, around there, it tops up here, and then comes down here, okay? So that's our first area of blue, and we're going to use ultramarine blue in here. So now that I've wet it, and I, it's, I think the surface is fairly good. Yeah. Okay. Quite wet. So here we go. Remember, it decreases 50%, so we're going to go with a really nice blue across here. And I'm trying. I'm trying. I, I, this is hard. <laughs> Might have to just blot them out. Yeah. <laughs> But so, you didn't mark where the clouds are. No. Uh, so now I've just got to watch. Well, she doesn't want to look quite like the picture. No, no, but I'm saying <laughs> we're, we have some lines. It never from. does. I find this very dark for, for the color that I'm seeing up there, but we'll go with it. Oh, but it's going to dry 50% lighter. I know. But I, I kind of like Start that. kind of different colors. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to put some, 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 some kids. I'm going to yeah. put yeah. it. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. 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 That makes me yeah. happy. I was going to say, ah. green blue is not really the color no. of the sky. No. It's right? not a sky color. Uh, no. Cobalt blue's got a better, but you've got to have sometimes that little bit of greeny blue in it. Exactly. Green, That's definitely better. Yeah, yeah. To me, that looks more like a real sky. Your window blue is fabulous. And it's an English sky. Yes. So now, now, as you're getting close to the clouds, right? So now we're already seeing some formation here. You're also getting your purplish tones in there. Yeah, yeah kind of nice, eh? Cool, yeah. sort of bleeding mm -hmm. in. I oh. like that. That's working out nicely. So now you want to take uh, either, I'm going to use this rough brush just to show you. You got to be careful of how much water you use because if you use too much water, you know what's going to happen. It's going to start coming back out, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to try and soften your edges here to get the idea of those clouds. And now some edges you want to have sharp, sharp right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we want to. We've got to move this over because that one, it's actually a lot softer there, right? So we've got to push that in. Now I'm just going to bring in a little bit of that. Okay, here we go. I want a little bit stronger color there. Is that still, still ultramarine? No, it's actually the cerulean I, oh, that I'm putting right. over, over the, the ultramarine, ultramarine, and I'm much happier with that mix. Mm -hmm. Okay, and here now we're going to pull that in. There's a little bit of blue patches in here. So again, now now what you're doing is you're trying to soften the edge, but you're also trying to still keep some of that nice dark around there, right? You want it to look like cloud, but you also want to look like sky too. Looks nice. Okay, so that's good. But now we've got to deal with, and I'm going to use only cerulean here with the rough brush here. There are some of these patches down here that we have to add in. These are little holes of blue. Okay. Not wetting that. And no, I'm not wetting this. I'm just going to bring in a little bit of this, and if I want wet, I'm going to use wet for my brush to just kind of soften them out. Okay, so there they are there. And then there's a little bit more here. I'm hoping I'm getting. Okay. Now here I see a few white clouds up above. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this and just drop in. And hopefully that'll give me that feeling. I can now take my tissue and maybe drop just a little bit out there. Okay, I think I'm okay with that. Now, do so I where see? are you in your picture? So here's this part. Okay, let's try and bring it. Oh, I see now. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So we were up here. Mm -hmm. I think I've caught a few of those. I'm gonna just soften that up a bit. Make it just a bit, bit, bit wispier. Now there was some. Do we? What do we end up doing? Oh no, they're in my pocket. <laughs> so you could you can lift here but you know what it's going to take time to use the q-tip so just if you have to you just be prepared you've got to you've got to work fast right if you're if you're having if you want to soften the edge or whatever if you need to lift and then the other way the lift is just to kind of bring it in there okay everything else seems to be okay here in there. all right I'm happy with those and I'm gonna bring that Diane it's just here okay okay that's this part here. Now I'm just gonna come across. I see just a little bit here. And now I'm gonna shrink it down here so you can see 
we're going to do this part across here now. And then, then this part here is going to be gray cloud. And then after that is our water, okay? And I'm keeping it purposely really short on the water because that's not really our focus, all right? But I need to have a bit of an anchor, okay? So here we go. We're going to go now only cerulean because it's very light. But it is, the water is really nice because it's got the reflection it's of the so sky. Isn't that gorgeous how yeah. the reflection yeah. of the in light the coming the down? Is what yeah. makes it interesting as well. Oh, yeah. interesting. Okay. Yeah. And I'm, I'm just thinking, okay, you guys want to learn about clouds. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking more of that perspective, mm -hmm. but you're right. It, it does add we a nice... So here we go. We need to wet. We need to wet. <laughs> So here, tomorrow it'll be all gone. Yeah. So why didn't you wet these ones, but you're wetting there now? Um, I don't, because they're, they're so small, yeah. right? Okay. And if I if I wet them, then I'm gonna I'm worried I'm, they're gonna spread too much, right? But this I need to have spread around. So we're now this this part right in here, okay? And it comes up here, yeah, right up there, and 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 then it has these kind of little peaks and valleys for this stuff down here. <clears throat> so I think that's about it. Okay, so here goes. Have we got enough? Yeah. It needs to be very clear. Right. So that's probably too dark. So let's just try and get that across. And lighten that up just maybe a bit. I won't do that by doing this. There, that's okay. Now that cloud kind of goes up here a bit more. <coughs> So I'm just going to let that happen like that. There's a little area here that goes up here. This kind of comes down a bit more. This comes in a bit more. So move right here. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. We haven't yet done this. We've done this right across here now, We've right up that. here. Okay. Oh, and I'm just going to put a little, I just see a little bit more there. Um, and this is a little bit there, I think. What do you think? Is that light, light enough? Mm -hmm. It's lighter than above, so that's good. What I'll do is just in between here, so that you can see a little bit. The cloud the comes up clouds. here, cloud comes here, and then it comes down here. So now what I have to do is I have to soften that up. This is actually sky. Oh, sky right. And there's the there's yeah. the rainbow there, right? Yeah. So I'm just trying to highlight a couple of these dark clouds here, right in here, oh, just so that you can see it. Mm -hmm. But I think that's it. I don't want to. I don't think I'll need to do anything more. Mm -hmm. Do you guys want to try that? Mm -hmm. yes. uh, how do you make room for the rainbow? So yeah. we're going to let it dry completely, and we should be able to glaze over mm -hmm. by first making sure everything's dry, and then coming down with water. And one at a time, just adding in the color. But we have to dry each side of the rainbow yes. before we can actually do it, because otherwise it's just going to blend together, and the next thing you know, it's going to be great.